segment is sponsored by Davis and Green Electrical. Well, as you may know, Davis and Green Electrical does more than sell generators. They're currently partnering with JW Enox Construction on a very special project that all you wine lovers out there can appreciate. Project manager Greg Green, owner of JW Enox, Wilson Enox, along with Talo Dameron, are here with us this morning. And I'm, I'm going to start with you, Greg, because you brought these folks in. Um, and obviously, you're very excited about their project. Tell us a little bit about yeah. what's going on. Well, <clears throat> it is so exciting to, uh, to have a local uh, winery come to Richmond. Um, so I'm not going to take very much time. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to these guys. All right, guys, let's, let's start with, um, with you. Uh, and I want to start with the idea of a winery, starting a winery in Virginia. Obviously, a lot of people lately have had that idea. But you had the idea to put it in a very special place. Well, we did. We're, um, we're very lucky that Upper Shirley is, uh, is a historic home uh, that used to be part of Shirley Plantation, which is the oldest plantation in America. Uh, and there's as much American history as you would want down on the James. And so we have a waterfront location, and it's across from the Presque Isle National Wildlife Refuge, so it's going to stay a pristine area for a very long time. Those of us who have been down Route 5 and visited Shirley and Berkeley and all the other plantations yeah. know that that is such a special place, not only in Virginia, but in the United States. And it's, it's our, our history. But wine has been a part of Virginia's history almost sure. from the very beginning as well. That, that's correct. Uh, Thomas Jefferson tried for, uh, for a lot of years and was not successful. Um, you know, so 400 years uh, has gone by, but we've finally gotten it down. So we, uh, <laughs> we have really benefited from the, the hard work that's been done in the, particularly the last 30 years here in Virginia. Uh, we've gone from, you know, just a handful of wineries to 100 to now 250. And so it was a pretty dodgy prospect even 10 years ago to think about opening a winery um, this close to Richmond down in the Tidewater area. Uh, but I think we've got the varieties and the uh, and the techniques and the vineyard to to make it work. In Virginia, we have architecture that we go back and we look at and uh, say, uh, so and so built this in 17 something. And Wilson's here today. Maybe 100 years from now, people will come down to this winery and say, Wilson built this. <laughs> and uh, you are charged so with a pretty big task. Yes, yes, I do have a good team around me, and and Greg is certainly a key part of that. And the design team has done an excellent job of capturing Talo and Elizabeth's needs in the, uh, in the plan for the work. Um, it is a challenging project. It's lots of big open spaces. So there are some challenges in trying to uh, keep everything um, mechanical and electrical buried so that the, the facility uh, shines. It's got to be exciting. Though, oh, it's to, great fun. Just to be part of Virginia history and, and taking it to a whole different level and having a beautiful venue uh, for, for weddings yep. and, and events right there on the James River in such a historic place. Yeah, we're going to have, um, at Upper Shirley, the, we're going to have a, uh, a, a tasting room um, where we will have our, our wines uh, available. Uh, but we're also going to have indoor space and seating for conservatively and comfortably 225 people. Um, Beyond that, we've got another 5,000 uh, square feet of covered porch and a uh, 100 by 60 patio that has permanent anchors for tents. So we're going to be able to accommodate just about as many people as you'd like to have for an event. And the, the, the business issue is that, that wine in Virginia is still an agritourism business. There are very few, except for the maybe the largest five vineyards in the state, that have a distribution model where they can be available in supermarkets and things like that. Um, the rest of the industry is, is about the experience and about visiting and about what you can do at that winery. Well, we're going to be on the lookout for this as it, <laughs> it develops. And uh, congratulations on getting it uh, started. And, and uh, when we get up and running, uh, I'm hoping there's going to be an invitation to come out for some Absolutely. tasting. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to let uh, well, Greg finish up you know, here for just Bill, a second. Oh, he's going to put the Santa hat it, on. Here we it go. Is, it is Christmas time. Yeah. And what would look better under your tree than a Generac generator? Actually, right beside the house. Would look a little better. <laughs> uh, Davis and Green is, has a great deal, uh, up to $500 
in uh, discounts and savings on the purchase of a Generac generator this December. Uh, $250 off the top and then the first free $250 service. So $500 off, so right. get out there and, and buy a generator. Merry and, Christmas. And the, inst and the installer will wear a hat just like that. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> Folks, you can find out more about Davis and Green Electrical online. Go to dgelectrical.com or give them a call at 2 Three one nine six eight four. They're located at one three two Brandon Road in Richmond, and like the Upper Shirley Vineyards Facebook page for daily posts and those updates we're all waiting for. Just search Upper Shirley, and now we'll send it over to you.